Shalom to my brothers and sisters in the body of Yahushua Hamashiach and to the scattered Hebrew Israelites who are throughout the four corners of the earth. Today, I bring you a news update. We have a lunar eclipse coming up this week on the 14th day of the 11th month. And the reason why I'm so excited about this, because it confirms what the Most High had told us through his prophecy and through his prophet Enoch. Yes, my people, it confirms that we have cited the correct full moon day and you will see what I mean. OK, so the title of this news update and um, for this word as well will be Lunar Eclipse Prophecy Fulfilled. OK, so let's go down here. Now we are on time and date website. And this is the article I clicked on to get some more information about the lunar eclipse that's coming up. And here this time, the majority of the countries will have very good opportunity of seeing this eclipse. Now, the color of the moon may be maybe a faint pinkish color to some type of yellow color. So there will be a slight um, color variation with this moon. Okay. Now, this is the part I really want to get to, and I want to blow this up for you. Now, these are the time for Arad Israel, okay? Now, if you take a look here, how we know we have cited the correct new moon, full moon day, because only on a full moon day, I'm talking about from sundown to sundown, can you have a lunar eclipse because of the alignment the moon is with the earth okay so on in um oh, sorry in Arad Israel on February 11th at 1234 a.m. this is when this eclipse eclipse began and then when it's fully eclipsed it would be at 243 a.m. on February 11th and then the eclipse will end on February 11th at 4.53 a.m. So we're looking at about four hours and 19 minutes of the total time of this eclipse. This is proof and confirmation about that the lunar eclipse lasts longer than a solar eclipse. And when you read about Christ being crucified on the Passover day, which was a bit 14, there was a lunar eclipse that lasts from the sixth hour to the night hour. And yes, a lunar eclipse can cause darkness. When you um, type in a search through Wikipedia on lunar eclipse, you will learn that only a total lunar eclipse, also known as central lunar eclipse, can be one of the darkest eclipse, and it lasts for a very long time. However, a solar eclipse cannot last that long. But also, when you go on timeofdate.com, this is what I like about this site, because I also learned something else. When you click on home and you change your set location time, and I'm going to put it for Charlotte, North Carolina. What I learned is that not everybody see the same thing, and we also know it's not everybody at the same time. Also, it has an effect on what phase of the moon we, we shall see where we at. OK, so when you go back to the article of eclipse dealing with the pre eclipse. I want you to notice this. In Charlotte, North Carolina, on February the 10th at 534 p.m. And this is Eastern Standard Time. They would not be able to see the pre lunar eclipse because the moon is below the horizon. Also see here the time difference. For Arad Israel, it started on February 11th at 1234 a.m. Because we in America, time is behind Israel time. So for Eastern Standard Time, we are about seven hours behind Israel. But the time that they see that this, the time that Israel see this lunar eclipse is around 1234 p.m. But for us, it's going to be around 534 p.m. This is something very important. 
But take this time now to pause your screen to get the rest of this information because there's one more area I want to show you to compare. And that area will be New York. So I'm comparing New York, New York to Israel and Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're going back to the same article for the pre numbal eclipse. And I want you to notice this. Now, New York, New York is in the same time zone as Charlotte, North Carolina. So the time and date would be the same. But notice that in New York, New York, they would be able to see the start of this eclipse. Okay. And they would be able to see when the eclipse see it. Take this time now to pause the screen and get this information. Okay. So this is why I say it's very important to be familiar with your area. So you'll be familiar if you'll be able to see that moon phase or that moon eclipse. Because just because you don't see it in your area doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. Okay. So this is why we have to work together globally as brothers and sisters to share our sightings. Because right now the moon is doing her own thing. Okay. And we're going to see more of this coming with this moon which fulfill prophecy. So when you have a chance, check the video description box for Yahuwah prophetic message because in his message, his messenger did a PDF form where you can print it out. And there he reveals that the, the heavens, such as the moon, shall manifest themselves and not show at their proper orders. In other words, they're going to be out of line because the children of Israel are not in their not in the Holy Land, the true Hebrew Israelites who are Negroes, because those Jewish people today, they are not the Jews. They are the sons of Japheth and the sons of Esau. And in Yahuwah prophetic message, he would give you more understanding of how they came about of, of claiming to be Hebrew Israelites and how they got the Holy Land. So check that out when you get it in your spare time. But let me change this back to Arad, Israel. Okay. And the reason why I use Arad, Israel, because for those who understand the mystery about the two Jerusalem, when you read the book of Joshua and the book of Judges, you will learn that there are two Jerusalems. One is the Amorite Jerusalem. And the second one is the Jebusite Jerusalem. So Arad, the reason why I use Arad Israel for, for the Jebusite Jerusalem. I'm sorry. The reason why I use Arad Israel, because that's the true location of the Jebusite Jerusalem. That was the Jerusalem that David conquered and built the city of Jerusalem. The Jerusalem that, that you see today is Elia Capitonia. And the Amorite Jerusalem. That's another video for another mystery for another time. But check out the video on Baal slash Satan and Astra slash Venus, who is Lucifer. Check out that video on my on my page because it gives you some of the mystery, the mystery that pertains to the Amorite Jerusalem that is called modern day Jerusalem today. Okay. Now here we back um, here we are looking at the moon phases for Erod Israel, and this is the confirmation to show you that we cited correctly on the Most High calendar, because this full moon phase, and I'm talking about full moon, I'm talking about hundred percent when the moon is fully hundred percent illuminated. Now I am aware that many of you may go out and look at the heavens, and the moon may appear to be full. But there is a difference when the moon is a hundred percent illuminated. And that comes from um, watching and studying the heavens for a long period of time. Also keep in mind, sometime when the moon is a hundred percent illuminated, it can be below the horizon. So you may not see that phase. So this is why it's so important to study the heavens and also look at the um, projections that timeofdate.com has and then compare. 
So you can see what, what the moon is truly doing. So in our so in our ride Israel, the full moon day is for February 11th at 2.32 a.m. So because this phase occurred before sundown, the uh, day for the Hebrew calendar would start from February the 10th at sundown to February 11th at sundown. This is how you know you cited your moon phase correctly on the right Hebrew day. And this is very important. And also by having the eclipse to occur on this day proves that you can only have a full moon day on the 14th day of the or the 15th day of each lunar month. This is how you know when you cited your new moon crescent or this is how you know when, when the moon did show at her correct appointed time. Because your full moon can only fall on the 14th or 15th day. So this is now we're seeing prophecy being fulfilled before our eyes. And now we begin to understand why Israel did not see the new moon crescent. So what I'm going to do is take this time now to pause your screen so you can get all the other dates and times for the moon phases for Arad Israel for the year of 2017. Okay. Now, another thing that's going to happen in this 11 month, we're going to also have a solar eclipse. Okay. And that solar eclipse, let's go back to the calendar, is going to fall on the 29th day of the 11th month. So that day will begin from February the 25th at sundown to February the 26th at sundown. And these times are based off of Rod Israel moon phase times. Okay. And um, what I'll... Um, I would do for you when that time approaches, I put out an alert so you can be um, prepared to see it if it's available in your area. Or you can just go to timeanddate.com and click on this article here to see what areas would be able to see that solar eclipse. OK. But again, it's providing confirmation because a pre numeral eclipse, lunar eclipse can only fall on a full moon day and for this month it fell on the 14th day and a solar eclipse can only fall on a dark moon day and for the 11th month it fell on the 29th day so take this time now to pause your screen so you can get the moon phases and fyi the sun is going to enter the 12th constellation which is called pisces and it's going to be on february the 18th at 1 21 p.m. Israel Standard Time. And when that day began of the sun entering the 12th sign, it would start on February the 17th at sundown to ending on February the 18th at sundown. Now we'll begin to see how it's important, why it's so important to keep records. Now we can see how prophecy is being fulfilled right before our eyes. Because this moon is definitely manifesting herself unto us. Okay. And this FYI, Israel was only able to see the new moon crescent on day two of the moon. Therefore, when they write their calendars out, their full moon day will fall on the 13th day. All right, my family. I love you all. And shallow warm. And also remember, can continue to preach the gospel that the kingdom of heaven is at hand for we know this is a season for Christ to return and make sure the people receive salvation with their whole hearts as written in Romans chapter 10 and baptize them in the name of Yahushua Hamashach. Shalom.